In this demo, I'm going to show you the new REST API reference material for IBM Spectrum Protect Plus version 10.16. IBM Spectrum Protect Plus supports controls using the REST API. From the Spectrum Protect Plus user interface, if you click on the username and then API reference, this will take you to the new reference. The reference describes the general information about the API design, how to perform many types of the actions, and some guides to actually script and interact with the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus. In the reference chapters, most topics will correspond to the product web user interface. So for example, if you went into system configuration and then into backup storage, object storage, you'll see the tasks getting bucket information. Now, in most cases, every task in Spectrum Protect Plus can be done by sending a request to the REST API. And every task page will describe how to design the request. It'll also give you general ideas, HTTP methods, parameters, and so on. Here in these examples, you'll see that for typical tasks, we'll have screenshots and example scripts that you can actually use by just making a few changes to those. There are many useful tips in this REST API reference. For example, here we have the ability to get the identity key ID, and this is going to describe the general idea, the structure, and once again, give an example script. You can also search for keywords within this reference. So if we search on identity, you'll see all the references within this documentation. There is also a PDF version of this REST API reference available. The REST API PDF is available online from the Spectrum Protect Plus Knowledge Center. Look for PDF files under the Knowledge Center's table of contents. Since this is a PDF, you can use the bookmarks and the cross-reference links. So go ahead and check out this new REST API reference, either the online version or the PDF. Thanks.